First you're going to use the chalk line to find the center. What I'll do is hook it in the corner. Take it to my other corner. I'll do this one the same way. Now that I found the center, I'm going to put a nail in it. I'll hang this slightly off the edge so I don't nail it in my table. Previously, I put a hole in my table, so I'll put this into that hole. And now I have the center. All I have to do is turn it on and spin it around. Of course, don't forget your glasses and your gloves. I don't want dust in my eyes, and I don't want splinters in my fingers. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the blade up just a little tiny bit, turn it around, bring the blade up a little more, turn it around. Now we have a nice round board. Now you make your second board the same way as the first. And again, put the nail in it. And just cut it out again. And no time do you ever need to get your fingers around the saw blade. You can always turn it from the other side. Now I'm going to make me a whole bunch of blocks about one inch. About one inch wide. Now I've got a whole bunch of sticks. Hopefully a lot more than I need. I'm going to cut these to about an uh, inch and a half. I estimated I needed six for each of my veins or fins. And I'm planning on having eight of those, so eight times six. I think I have 
plenty there plus I have enough wood and this was all scrap wood I have enough wood that I could probably do a second one I already have four lines well actually two lines but four pieces four sections and uh, I need eight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure between going to the edge measure between two lines find the halfway point I'm at uh, 27 inches it's 27 and an eighth half 27 and an eighth be 13 9 sixteenths should be the same here now I use my chalk line it should go right between the two Now I have eight pieces of the pie. And I'll do my other board the same way. Looks like I'm going to have to pre-drill my little blocks before I put nails in them. Because it's being that small, this tiny nail will bust it. So I went ahead and drilled it instead of nailing. But it's okay because it's going to nail into that board. And um, I'm going to put some glue on it to hold it. I'm going to mark where I'm going to put my blocks. I'm going to go one inch in. I'm going to go half an inch up. Do the same thing on this side. I just set my tape measure for half inch, be easier. Then I'll mark the center. We've got uh, 13 and a half inches. Be six and a quarter. Or six and three quarter. I'll do both sides of all eight that way and I'll drill the holes. This will be where I'm going to put a screw. You take your block and put it right over your hole, put it right where you want it. Take a real tidy drill bit. The little hole will keep it from splitting. And it's very helpful for starting your screw.
mark this at seven inches. This is a four inch piece. If it was a six inch piece, it would be a little further out. I didn't find any six inch pieces at Lowe's at that day I was picking these up. Now this edge will fall right on that line. This edge will fall right on the edge of this board. I'm going to put this line at the back of these little boards. Then I'll go around and do every one of them the same. I'll put my nails in. And I'll uh, glue the bottom. And what I found is some indoor outdoor wood glue. Put some on the bottom. place and nail it down. Now I'll fix this side the same way we did the other side. I'll go around and I'll mark them all at 7 inches. And I can start gluing them and putting the nails in. And when you are done, you'll have a windmill that still needs a base. That will be another story.